person sells two fans for rupees 3200 the cost price of first fan is equal to the selling price of the second fan if the first is sold at 40 percent loss and the second at 100 percent profit what is the total profit or loss now the whole solution here depends on converting these statements into equations so a person sells two fans for rupees 3200 two fans sells meaning this is the selling price of two fans 3200 so can you say s1 plus s2 selling price of first fan plus the selling price of second fan is equal to 3200 yes the cost price of first fan is equal to the selling price of the second fan so the cost price of the first fan is c1 it is equal to the selling price of the second fan s2 yes or no the cost price of first fan c1 is equal to the selling price of second fan selling price of second fan is s2 if the first is sold at 40 percent loss first is sold at 40 percent loss now from your knowledge of profit and loss you should know that if a particular item is sold at 40 percent loss then s1 will be 0 0.6 times c1 40 percent loss right so s1 will be 60 percent of c1 the first one was sold at 40 percent loss if it is sold at 40 percent loss then the selling price is only 60 percent of the cost price 60 percent is nothing but 0 0.6 and the second at 100 percent profit the second one was sold at 100 percent profit meaning s2 is equal to 2 times c2 See, this, this understanding of how to write S in terms of C when profit or loss is given is very, very important. And, and we have learned enough about this in our profit and loss videos, right? The first one was sold at 40% loss, meaning the selling price is only 60% of the cost price. So S1 equals to 0 0.61. Okay. The second one was sold at 100% profit, meaning the selling price is 200% of cost price. So S2 equals to 2C2. Now, based on this data, he says, what is the total profit or loss? Total profit or loss. See, for us to find out the total profit or loss, we should know the total selling price which is given as 3200 we should also know the total cost price c1 plus c2 so if we can find out what is c1 plus c2 then the difference of these two will give you the profit or loss right we know s1 plus s2 find out what is c1 plus c2 that's it now you just have to play with these equations yeah how do you solve this see simply understand we know that if, if you look at it in, in the first equation, see the only equation which has got a number in it is the first equation. So that equation is going to play a key role, right? We know S1 plus S2 equals to 3200. Now put S2 equals to C1 in this place and put S1 equals to 0 0.6 C1 in this place. I'm, I'm putting equation 2 and equation 3 in equation 1. So what do we get out of it? See S1 is equal to 0 0.6 C1. But that C1 is equal to S2. So I'll first put C1 equals to S2 here. You're, you're able to follow. The 0 0.6 C1 can be taken as 0 0.6 S2. S1, S1 is 0 0.6 C1, right? So can I say C1 equals to S2? So S1 becomes 0 0.6 S2. Substitute this. So what do we get? S1 plus S2 equals to 3200. So I can say 0 0.6 S2 plus S2 equals to 3200. Which implies 1.6 S2. See, 1S2 plus 0 0.6 S2 equals to 1.6 S2. 1.6 S2 equals to 3200 implies S2 equals to 2000. Which implies S1 equals to 1200. So I know the independent cross selling prices. Earlier, we knew only the total selling price. Now I know the independent selling prices. The first selling price is 1200. Second one is 2000. See, it satisfies, right? The first selling price should be 0 0.6 times of second selling price. So 1200 is 0 0.6 times of 2000, right? We know S1 and S2. Now, what is C1 and C2? We know that C1 is equal to S2. So C1 is equal to S2, which is equal to 2000. What is S2? S2 equals to 2C2. C1 is equal to S2. S2 is 2000, we've got that. And S2 equals to 2C2, which means C2 equals to half of S2. C2 equals to half of S2. What is half of S2? S2 is 2000. Half of S2 is 3000. Uh, half of S2 is 1000. Now from these two, what is C1 plus C2? See, all this can be done mentally. You don't have to write all the steps. C1 plus C2 is 2000 plus 1000, 3000. That's it. So I know S1 plus S2 is 3000. I know C1 plus C2 is... Sorry, I know S1 plus S2 is 3200. C1 plus C2 is 3000. It should be a profit because selling price is more than the cost price. What is the profit? 200 rupees. The total selling price is 200 rupees more than the total cost price. Please do not go by the length of the explanation or the number of steps that we have put on paper. This is for a detailed explanation. When you solve it yourself in the exam, you can cut down the number of steps that you are using there. Okay. So option two, 
200 is going to be the final answer.